Hello guys, it's Rob Gamer here. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my review of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. This is about like the fourth time I've been trying to do this. It's it's like 11, 14 at night. Um, really tired. Uh, really, you know, late. Um, and yeah, I'm just here to do to do the review. Um, I'm gonna be tired. Um, but yeah, let's get in to it um i hope you guys enjoy uh just reading a spoiler warning this is your warning about the spoilers uh i'm gonna be spoiling the campaign so if you're not into that uh or i'm gonna be spoiling everything so if you're not into spoilers please do click off now all right so the campaign first thing that needs to be addressed it's only three hours long i really do not like how it's three hours long i want a lo i wanted a longer campaign because we only get one every year and i i don't know i feel like i feel like the non-inclusion of spec ops I, I feel like it was a good campaign okay but i wanted it longer i wanted it like a 10 hour campaign that was, like, match if they did that, like, the longest campaign. I know because of COVID and stuff, they couldn't do it. And, you know, the whole uh, development uh, delay and stuff like that. Uh, due to those things, they couldn't do it. But still, I really, really wish it was longer. Um, because the wait was so extreme. We were so excited. And then it was just over like that. But I like, I love actually you, how you can customize your traits, um, your name. You can't actually customize your name, but you know, you're always going to be called Bell. But you can customize um, what you want to be, or what you want your background and for to be, your real name to be. Even though they won't call you, you also can pick choices. Uh, which is all really really new for the campaign um and also sometimes you play as mason which is awesome i like there's so much variety here uh again three different endings um all of them are really really good i feel um and you can choose like which one it's not too hard um to find out which ending that you want um or if you're too confused, just look up a guide on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe look at the background uh, 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 gameplay. Maybe that's it. <laughs> that's one of my endings. Um, but yeah, um, I really, really, really uh, enjoy uh, the campaign. Some of the cutscenes are really, really laggy though, which is weird. Um, it's weird uh, for a call of duty game but i think it's because it's made for next gen and then ported to uh last gen it's a bit weird i typically ps4 is last gen now uh it's it's really weird um i don't like that actually i really wish it wasn't uh already time for the ps5 but hopefully when i get the ps5 uh or hopefully when i get call of duty black ops cold war for the ps4 i will play it and get better screen recordings and stuff. So I don't have to use this weird app to record it. Well, it's good, but I don't know. It's good for the time being. Um, but yeah, the characters you really, really end up liking. Um, and if they die, if something happens to them, you get really upset. And then the ending, you get portrayed. It's not, like, the ending is not too well. Um, like, the, it feels, the ending of the game feels rushed. Um. Uh, why like I and then I feel like why would you portray your team? Look what 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 does Bell have to gain from portraying your team? I don't know exactly, um, but 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 um, the regular ending I feel like is what the real ending is. Um, uh, but I don't know. Um, uh, I I think we only can disprove one of the endings right now. I'm not sure, but yeah. Um, but, yeah, um, uh, so, yeah, of course, the ending's a bit choppy, uh, the cutscenes are sometimes a bit choppy, uh, you meet Ronald Reagan in this game, which is actually really, really cool, I feel like he, he looks pretty awesome, I don't know what he sounded like, but I feel like the voice actor in this game is awesome, 
you know, what they want it to be or whatever. Um, and then you get to choose what characters live or die. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference, but, you yeah, know, it's there if you guys like it. If you guys like choices. Uh, it's like BO2 in that sense, uh, to be honest. Um, and, yeah, it's a really good campaign. Uh, the regular ending uh, at the end. Spoiler, by the way. Um, um, Adler kills you. Um, which is really, really weird. I don't know. I feel like that's a secret that we don't know yet. I don't think they just put that in just for, for sake of portrayal. Maybe they did. But I'm hope I don't think they did. I think that's going to have something to do with uh, the multiplayer or something. Maybe Adler has some dark secret. But I really don't know how they're going to you know, flush it out and tell you how, what his secret was and what he's hiding and why did he do it. Um, but I don't know. So yeah, really good campaign. Controls are awesome. I like the body thing, the body thing feature. I don't think it's implemented enough. But still, like it. It's decent. I like gunplay, of course. Sound design, uh, also pretty good. Uh, there's a few glitches there, here and there. But the, also the KGB mission's awesome. Like you holster, your guns are holstered for like a lot of the mission, a lot of the campaign, which I also like. You know, it's just a three-hour campaign, but still, I I like how you it takes time for world building and stuff. It's it's really good, but it was rushed, and I I think it was rushed. I it feels kind of rushed to be honest. It's not laggy. I just. I don't know. It feels like they didn't have all the time in the world to make what they wanted. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the campaign. Let's get over to multiplayer. So multiplayer in this game is actually kind of bad. Um, so so I think we have like ten nine maps now, uh, which is weird. Um, and um. I think it's gonna be it was, the launch. It was like the lowest amount of maps, but I like Nuketown. I like Moscow. I like Miami. I I I know a lot of people don't like this, but uh, I do. I also like Satellite. I feel like that's this game's kind of unique map. I also like the snowy maps. So I kind of like, and I also like the ship map. So I kind of like a majority of the maps. Uh, there's not a lot of map. I don't think there's really any maps I I want to skip over yet. Um, like, there's not anything that makes me just, you know, oh, oh no, I hate that map. I, there's no maps like that. Like, I, I like all the maps. Oh, I don't like Moscow, actually. I don't really like Moscow that much. But yeah, there's not really any maps I want to skip over. Um, that I can think of at the top of my head right now. Um, nothing, I, I feel like they could have been a more colorful. Of course, the new town just got added, uh, with an update, but yeah. Uh, I feel like they could have been more color. I want them to be more cartoony, so I hope they. I hope they experiment with this game. I hope it's not just all serious, like all gray, like Modern Warfare. Like, come on! I think Modern Warfare was a good game, if it wasn't really like I. I kind of respect Modern Warfare a bit more for what they did now, but back in that game's life cycle, I did not like it that much. Um, to be honest, uh, but yeah, um, I like the guns, I actually do, I do like the guns so far, uh, I hope they add a lot more, maybe, hopefully, I meant hopefully, oh yeah, I think they will add more, I like how seasons are starting, I, it starts December 10th, which is awesome, I hope they're, I kind of hope they're longer seasons, so we can, you know, get everything done, uh, I don't want to miss anything, for this season, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's something I don't like seasons. I don't like missing stuff. So hopefully I get all the content that I can earn for season one. Uh, that's coming soon. Um, but yeah. Um, multiplayer is not that good. Skill-based matchmaking is also what's making it really, really bad. I don't kind of don't want to go over this because everyone else is talking about skill-based matchmaking kind of ruins it it's all competitive and stuff you know youtube twitch people you know just uh, shooting you it's not that good to be honest i don't like it i don't like that part at least 
But yeah, let's move on to zombies. Um, zombies is really, really good in this game. Um, the machine, awesome map. I like the snowy feature. I, I like it. I really do. It's not my favorite. Not my favorite. But I like the mystery box. I like the little perks. I like how everything was handled in this game. Only six perks, perks still. I remember when I feel like there was like eight or something or ten before. I don't remember though. Maybe there was six or four before no uh but yeah i like how it's not all combined again i like how you start with whatever gun you want or whatever you can start with a knife i think too so that's awesome uh, um and i like how you level up like you can level up i kind of miss the old way of zombies but again i can't i didn't again i kind of don't um um yeah, I, I like it. I like it. I really do. Um, I like how you can level up in the battle pass and stuff. I like the underground areas. Um, I hope we get more maps uh, sooner. I hope we got I get one in Season 1, to be honest. But I don't know. Time will tell. Let's be honest. Time will tell. Um, uh, but yeah. Um, another thing I like is Zombies Onslaught. I haven't really played it. It's sort of that weird exclusive mode that no one really talks about. But, yeah, I like it. I, I like it. Um, so, yeah. Um, I like how you start with whatever gun you want. I, the storyline's fine. I also, like, I don't really, I'm not that into it. I'm kind of intrigued right now. Um, but I kind of just want to see how it'll update from now. Uh, it's fine right now, but I hopefully it gets better. Um, and then, I'm kind of, I'm kind of pretty sad about no characters. Like, I understand, I kind of understand why. Like, it's weird. Actually, I don't, like, I don't know, they didn't have to do operators for the characters. I feel like they just don't want to try, have to make new character introduce new characters or something. I hope characters make a return at one point. But I don't think they will, to be honest. Because of how everything is set up. But we'll see. Uh, I miss characters. I, feel, I kind of like characters more, to be honest. Uh, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I'll, I'm going to give this whole operator thing a little bit of thought. Because I kind of like how you can just run your operator, whatever you want to look like. But then again, I kind of miss characters. But they're actually pretty cool. But I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. I, I can or I can deal with it. So yeah, that's my uh, whole review on Call of Duty. Onslaught's fine. It's just that weird side mode. Uh, but yeah, that's my review on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Hope you hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a review on BO3 very very shortly. So if you guys are want to see more, please do comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what COD game I should review next. And I'm, yeah, I'm trying to review all of them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.